Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Cybin, C-Y-B-N, Doug Drysdale. How are you doing today, Doug? I'm great, Rich. Thanks for having me today. My pleasure. Excited to have you on the show. And I have a few questions for you, Doug. My first question is, Cybin is a leading biopharmaceutical company working to create safe and effective psychedelic therapies to address mental illness, addiction, and overall well-being. Can you tell us more about the company? Sure. So Cybin was founded in 2019. Uh, we've grown the company over the last year, year from five employees to 55 across four countries. So we've got a large infrastructure in place. And we've raised $120 million uh, to date uh, to support our drug programs. We are listed on the New York Stock Exchange, as you mentioned, under the symbol CYBN. What we've been doing over the last few years is working to, to engineer a paradigm shift, frankly, uh, in how we treat mental illness, uh, moving away from uh, the need to take chronic medicine every day for depression or addiction uh, to these um, derivatives and analogs of psychedelic, classical psychedelic molecules that have the potential to um, remove someone's psych. Uh, remove someone's symptoms or their addictive cravings for weeks or months at a time from just one or two doses. So a completely different way to treat, treat uh, mental health. We love it. We love psychedelics here. We love how they're helping change people's lives. Now, Cybin is designing innovative psychedelic based molecules to help treat a number of mental illnesses. What disorders and conditions are your proprietary proprietary compounds treating and what are the benefits of you using psychedelic therapies for patients? So the main treatment areas that we're targeting are depression, uh, addiction, starting with alcohol use disorder uh, and anxiety disorders. So these are, these are conditions that collectively are uh, affect around 900 million people uh, around the world. So about a billion people affected by these treatments. These are these conditions. Um, what we're doing at Cybin is, is taking classical psychedelic drugs, molecules that we know a lot about, psilocybin, DMT, that have been studied for six or seven decades, uh, but they've failed to become therapeutics yet. We can't go and take them as medications. They're not approved by, by the FDA. And so what we're working to do is, is work with derivatives and analogs of those molecules so that they can become therapeutics, taking them through the, uh, the drug development pathway to overcome some of the limitations of those classical psychedelic drugs. Psilocybin, for example, is very long acting and has a lot of interpatient variability, makes it unpredictable. Uh, DMT is very short acting, maybe lasts six to 10, 10 minutes. So these are some of the challenges and hurdles that we're overcoming in our clinical trials later this year. What would you say sets Cybin apart from other companies developing psychedelic based therapies? So as I mentioned, we're working to retain the powerful efficacy that's been seen from these classical psychedelic drugs for many decades. There are dozens of academic studies out of uh, organizations like NYU and Johns Hopkins. So we're looking to retain that, uh, that powerful efficacy, but overcome the limitations. So with our lead asset, CYB3, which is an analog of psilocybin, the, that, that asset is, has a, an onset of action that's twice as fast. And the wow. duration, the treatment duration is half the time. So it means that patients overall can spend half the time in the clinic as they would with, say, traditional psilocybin. Also, traditional psilocybin is a prodrug, which means the molecule itself isn't active. It has to be converted to the active psilocin in the body through the liver. And as we all metabolize uh, these molecules differently, there's a lot of variability from one patient to another. 
So one patient might have a very mild response, another might have a very profound response. And that, you know, that kind of unpredictability is not what you want with psychiatric patients. So with CYB3, we've removed that, a large amount of that variability so that we can look at more, uh, more predictable outcomes for patients. Doug, can you tell us more about Cybin's research and development strategy for its therapeutic development programs? Yes, as I said, it's really about taking classical psychedelics and improving on that experience. Uh, so another asset of our C, uh, CYB4 is a deuterated version of DMT or dimethyltryptamine. So without getting into too much chemistry, uh, what we've done is we've switched out hydrogen atoms on this molecule with deuterium, which is just heavy hydrogen. And that has the impact of slowing down the breakdown of DMT in the body. So with CYB4, instead of having a six to 10 minute rocket ride uh, where the patient is immediately into almost another realm within seconds and then back down again in just a few minutes, uh, we've been able to smooth out that curve, extend the, the, the psychedelic experience, the treatment session for about three times the length, so maybe 30 minutes or so, wow. and, and keep the patient in that state in a, in a smoother, less anxiety creating way. And we think that that duration is, uh, is more amenable to sort of a psycho improving psychotherapy and improving outcomes. Now, CYB003 has shown promising preclinical pre results in addition to effectively treating major depressive disorder, MDD. What other indications can CYB003 be used for? So we also think that CYB3 has the potential uh, for treating alcohol use disorder, uh, maybe sub, uh, opioid use disorder, maybe tobacco use disorder. And uh, I, I personally think that psychedelics are ideally suited for treating addictions. When you think about how we treat addictions today, we either use uh, like a 12 step program, which has a pretty low success rate, a lot of patients uh, relapse, uh, or we treat with, uh, with uh, drugs that are, are barely effective. What you're doing in, in many of these situations is you're, you're giving a chronic drug every day to kind of fight back the addiction every day. And ultimately, with most addicts, uh, the addiction wins. Uh, we, we, a lot of addicts relapse. So what we can do with psychedelics, because of this ability to remove someone's addictive cravings for maybe months at a time from just one or two doses, you can create a clean space where patients are potentially free from their addictive cravings for five or six months. And that's life-changing. So rather than fighting the addiction every day, that enables patients to potentially recreate, you know, reconnect with uh, family, friends, be more productive at work, get off the street, you get a job. You know, it's, it's when, when you remove that daily battle, you can really have the, you know, have the potential to change someone's life uh, dramatically. What advantages does CYB3 and other compounds developed by Cybin have over classic psychedelics? So CYB3 is a deuterated analog of psilocybin. So we've taken psilocybin, but we've modified the molecule. Uh, that enables us to reduce clinic time. And when you think that traditional psilocybin has maybe a six or eight hour treatment session, that's a lot of healthcare system resources needed for one patient. You know, essentially, when you, th when you think about a depression clinic, they may have a half a dozen treatment rooms, and uh, you're asking that clinic to tie up an entire room for an entire day with one patient. That is going to kind of start to stretch, stretch the infrastructure uh, a little bit. So we've cut that time in half. Uh, so the patients spend half the time in the clinic. We've also reduced the patient into patient variability, which we think has a better safety profile. And we've also improved brain penetration, which means that a, a smaller amount of CYB3 is needed uh, to get into the brain to be effective than potentially with, with, with psilocybin. So our, our goal has been to improve the patient experience, reduce the health system resources, uh, make these treatments more reimbursable. And ultimately that's what's gonna to lead to accessibility. Uh, what we don't want is these treatments reserved for only those that can afford it, but for people that have insurance, whether it's in the US or, or overseas, uh, that need to access to these treatments. So Doug, Sybin recently partnered with the Deepak Chopra Foundation. Can you tell us more about this important strategic partnership? 
Yeah, the partnership with the Deepak uh, Chopra Foundation is, is, is very important. Um, the Chopra Doubt Foundation has been working for a long time now to increase awareness of mental illness and to overcome some of the stigma uh, that comes along with mental illness. You know, one, one positive of the pandemic is that we are more aware uh, of, of mental health conditions, uh, but there's still a huge amount of stigma around them. You know, a, a prominent public figure, a CEO um, that comes out to say maybe they're, they're depressed uh, or they have an addictive, addictive uh, condition is going to face some challenges. You know, while that may be, uh, while that may be pretty woke to say, uh, there'll be immediately immediate questions of, of competence and capability. So we're still not there yet with accept, of overcoming the stigma of, of mental health conditions. Uh, the other issue, the other challenge we have is that because of the war on drugs back in the 70s, uh, we have you know, decades of misinformation and misunderstanding about the potential for psychedelics. There are still scientists and regulators that think psilocybin is addictive or, or toxic, and it's neither of those things. Uh, you, you, would, you would need a thousand doses of psilocybin in order to be uh, toxic. And uh, many studies were shown that psilocybin is not addictive, it's non habit forming at all. So between those two, uh, two issues, the mental health stigmas and, and, and the stigmas around uh, psychedelics, we've got a lot of communication and education work to do. And we think that the, the Chopra Foundation is ideally suited to help us with that. I can't wait. Now, Sybin's leadership team has significant psychedelic, pharmaceutical and regulatory experience including former execs from the FDA and Pfizer. Can you speak to the advantages of having a strong leadership team in place? So our, our R&D team has um, over 400 years of collective experience. So uh, that's either very good or we're very old, <laughs> one or the other. Um, but uh, in all seriousness, uh, in, in any startup, I think you need an A team. You're often asking folks to do more than one job in the beginning, the founding of, a, of an organization. And uh, so that deep uh, development experience uh, has enabled us to work on multiple programs at the same time. And we've, it's enabled us to come from the bench to the clinic in about 18 months, whereas a typical drug development timeline could be three, three years on average, maybe up to six years. So we've been able to progress uh, CYB3, uh, CYB4 and CYB5, our three lead assets, in, in record time because of the deep experience that our team has with FDA. That's fantastic. Now, having raised over 120 million and with nearly 64 million on your balance sheet, do you believe that Cybin is well funded to move forward with its planned clinical trials? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have so many milestones coming up over the next 18 months or so. Um, we, this, uh, this cash on hand is going to take us through a CUIB3 uh, phase 1-2A study in major depressive disorder. Uh, it's going to get us up and through a, a pilot study for CYB4 and anxiety disorders. We're working on CYB5, a, a partnering package for that. We think that's an asset for neuroinflammation uh, that could uh, could be of interest to, to Big Pharma. And uh, we're just kicking off a, a neuroimaging study with our partner, Kernel, using the Kernel Flow device to look at real-time brain activity uh, during a psychedelic experience. So a lot of milestones coming up, a lot of value catalysts. Uh, in the works over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. What should investors watch out for for the company this year? So look, going through the three programs for CYB3, this is our uh, psilocybin analog for depression. Um, look out for preclinical work being complete. That's all of the work needed to file an IND with the FDA. We're on track to file an IND uh, in the second quarter of this year. Uh, that will enable us to start a study in major depressive disorder around mid-year. Uh, for CYB4, which is our anxiety disorders asset, this a deuterated version of DMT, uh, we have some pretty interesting preclinical data coming up uh, in the next, uh, next several weeks. We're also planning to file a, a regulatory filing uh, in the second quarter and start a pilot study uh, around uh, the third quarter as well. So good clinical progress, human studies with both of those assets. And then with CYB5, as I mentioned, this is an interesting molecule that we've discovered has anti-inflammatory properties. So potentially at lower doses, uh, sub-psychedelic doses 
for chronic dosing uh, could have potential in, in conditions like Parkinson's disease, wow. Alzheimer's disease, or, or MS. So we'll see how that progresses around mid-year. Doug, how can investors contact Cybin to learn more about the company? So you can contact Cybin, uh, ir at cybin.com or simply visit the website, uh, cybin.com. Thank you for your time today. I'm with the CEO of Cybin, Doug Drysdale. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love the psychedelic sector and we believe Cybin is a company that everybody needs to put on their radar and put on your watch list. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Cybin, Doug Drysdale. Doug, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Rich. My pleasure. Love to have you back on the show. If you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, love to invite you back on our show so that we can get you in front of our community, our global community, and our ecosystem of investors. For those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners like Cybin, and we bring them to you first. Put it on your radar. Put it on your watch list. This is your host, Rich from Rich TV Live, saying have a nice day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.